Like and subscribe right now, or you're gonna have terrible luck for the next week. When you're in the wild, the best advice anyone could give you would probably center around not touching just anything. And they'd be right. You can encounter one of nature's deadliest and most venomous creatures without even knowing it. And the last thing you want to do is get stung. We have the obvious, the unlikely, the big, and the minuscule on this list of the 10 most venomous animals in the world. Number 10. Indian Red Scorpion When you see this animal, you might wonder how something so small could rank so high on our list of the most venomous animals on the planet. Well, you might soon see that size is hardly relevant when it comes to how dangerous some creatures can be. The Indian Red Scorpion, Hotentota tamilis, also called the Eastern Indian Scorpion, is considered to be the most lethal scorpion in the world. What a title to hold! However, despite its pretty descriptive name, the scorpion isn't necessarily red. It can exist in various colors, ranging in color from reddish brown to orange, or just plain brown. A single tap from this dangerous arachnid has an up to 40% fatality rate and even higher if left untreated. Found in Pakistan, India, Nepal, and Sri Lanka, the Indian red scorpion thankfully does not hunt people, but it will sting to defend itself if it feels threatened. Children are most likely to die from stings because of their small size. Number 9. Funnel Web Spider There is only one place on the entire planet where it seems like everything in the animal kingdom was designed to actively kill. I think you know where I'm talking about. Australia is the home to many of the Earth's deadliest, scariest, most beautiful, and ugliest creatures, so it's no surprise that Australian native animals have made it to this list. Funnel web spiders, the most notorious members of the spider fauna, are found in eastern Australia. There are at least 40 species of funnel web spiders, and they are medium to large spiders, varying from 1 cm to 5 cm in body length. Males are more lightly built than females, and the general body color can vary from black to brown, but the hard carapace covering the front part of the body is always sparsely haired and very glossy. Although I doubt you'd hardly be bothered about how glossy this creature's carapace is if it ever bit you. The spider's venom is so potent that it has been found to reputedly be around double the deadly effects of cyanide. The effects on a human include increased blood pressure, arrhythmia, coma, and ultimately, death. The venom acts swiftly and can kill a small child within 15 minutes. 15 minutes! You might want to usher your kids back into the house after hearing that. Number 8. Dubois Sea Snake Before you decide to go splashing around in the ocean, there might be something you need to know. Sea snakes. And this Dubois Sea Snake is not just any sea snake, it's the worst of the very worst. The Dubois Sea Snake is a venomous, slender, and swift-moving coral reef snake. These snakes are mostly observed in the North Australian waters and around a few tropical islands in the southwestern Pacific Ocean. They're found among shallow coral reef waters and sandy bottoms and are considered a truly aquatic sea snake, which means that they're fully adapted and developed towards life in the water, and not on land. The venom of the Dubois has the deadliest venom of all sea snakes and can kill a mouse with one bite. Sea snake venoms are actually pretty heinous. They can cause paralysis, blurry vision, difficulty swallowing or speaking, and in about 3% of victims, death. That does not sound pretty, so next time you make a dash towards that water, remember that. Number 7. Coastal Taipan Along the coast from northern New South Wales, Queensland, Northern Territory, through to northeastern Western Australia, you might find this particularly dangerous creature in forests, heaths, and grassy beach dunes, ready to cause you the worst pain in the entire world and then some. The coastal taipan snake is one of Australia's most notorious snakes. The coastal taipan is commonly about 2-3 to three feet long, and even very rarely, it can be longer. This slithering creature has fangs that can grow up to 12 millimeters long. It uses those fangs to inject a powerful venom into the body. Sporting a slender, light to dark brown body and a cream, yellow belly with pink or orange flecks, the snake's head is often a lighter brown than its body. Now here's something interesting you might want to know. The venom the coastal taipan injects is specially designed for warm-blooded mammals. One neurotoxin knocks out the prey's nervous system so its muscles won't work, and another toxin stops the prey's blood from clotting so it bleeds to death. Yikes! This highly toxic snake's venom affects both the nervous system and blood coagulation. 
If left untreated, mortality is 100%. In cases of severe envenomation, death comes swiftly, within half an hour. Number 6. Cone Snail The cone snail lives in a beautiful shell prized by many people who go to the beach in search of pretty seaside souvenirs. On the inside, however, they hold a terrible, terrible secret. Out of the over 500 known species of cone snails, the geographic cone is the most venomous of them all, and several human deaths have been attributed to them. Wanna know why? Their venom is actually a complex concoction of hundreds of different toxins, which are then derived via a harpoon-like tooth propelled from an extendable proboscis. There is no antivenom for a cone snail sting, and treatment is limited to merely keeping victims alive until the toxins wear off. Like most snails, a cone snail is slow, but its attack is swift and potent. These snails are predatory and use a sophisticated detection system to find prey that swim by. When the prey comes close enough, they strike very swiftly and inject their potent venom into the prey. Once the venom has been injected into your body, you don't feel a thing, and, and that is what makes the cone snail so deadly. You don't even know what hits you. All you know is that you saw a pretty shell and thought it was worth a closer look. Researchers believe that the venom in one of these mollusks is enough to kill 20 adult humans. 20 adult humans! Make sure you remember that before you go picking up any pretty shells off the ocean floor. Number 5 your kanji jellyfish. This is another venomous creature found in no other place than Australia. This jellyfish's lethality resides in its ability to deliver a significant amount of venom through hundreds of thousands of ejections all at the same time. The result of a sting is severe localized pain, confusion, agitation, and unconsciousness with respiratory failure and often cardiac arrest. Due to the rapid onset of symptoms, it would be of great importance to get any effective victim to the quickest medical attention they can get. Sometimes they might even need CPR. This tiny jellyfish seldom grows to be as big as a person's fingertip, yet it packs such a huge punch as you can see. Unfortunate victims that come in contact with the ear kanji develop a condition called the ear kanji syndrome. That comes with an excruciating pain that even morphine has little effect on. Even worse, there's no antivenom for the sting, and the toxins can cause fatal brain hemorrhages. These things are bad news all around. Number 4. Blue Ringed Octopus There are four main species of blue ringed octopuses. These are small predators that can be found in tide pools and shallow rocky reefs throughout the western Pacific and Indian Oceans. The blue ringed octopus can grow up to lengths of only 8 to 10 inches or 20 to 25 centimeters, including the arms, which are named for the bright blue circles that they display on their bodies and arms. This is one of the most venomous octopus species in the world. You might wonder why. In addition to their bright blue rings, these octopuses are famous for having extremely potent venom that can be strong enough to kill a person. There is currently no known antivenom to treat a person who has been bitten. When these animals feel threatened, the rings glow even brighter, announcing that they might bite sometime soon. Even with its relatively small size, the venom is debilitating and deadly. It can cause respiratory failure within 10 minutes and death within 30. One bite can kill up to 26 men, and like I said, there's no antivenom. Number 3. Inland Taipan This is the second Taipan snake on this list, and if you've been paying any attention, you might know these snakes are nothing but bad news. Shy but deadly, the inland taipan ranks as the most venomous snake in the entire world. Found generally in Central East Asia, the inland taipan is often found to be dark tan in color, ranging from a rich, dark hue to a brownish light green, depending on the season that it's spotted. The average length for an adult inland taipan is about 2 meters or 6.5 feet, with a maximum of 2.7 meters or 8.8 feet. They rarely ever grow longer than that. Although the maximum size is smaller than that of a coastal taipan, this is a large, formidable snake. No kidding! Like I said before, this snake is a pretty shy snake. If provoked to defend itself, the inland taipan would flatten its body into a low, S-shaped curve with the head pointing straight at the perceived threat. More often than not, if approached, it would prefer to slither away and retreat into shelter without directly seeking out trouble. One drop of its venom can kill up to 100 adult men, and it works in as little as 45 minutes. Now it's time for today's best pick. Our picture today was sent in by a subscriber. Remember, if you come across a picture online and would like to know its origins, you can send it in to us. Who knows, your picture might even get featured in a future video. Number 2. 
pufferfish. Also called a blowfish, pufferfish are small animals that have become famous for their inflatability. When they feel threatened, the fish quickly puff up, hence their name, and prepares to inject venom into anything that touches them through its painful sting. Pufferfish contain tetrodotoxin, a substance that makes them foul-tasting and often lethal to other fish. To humans, tetrodotoxin is deadly, up to 1,200 times more toxic than cyanide. There is enough toxin in one pufferfish to kill 30 adult humans, and there's no known antidote. So this is yet another warning to not pick things off the ocean floor. Stay safe out there. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take five seconds to complete. So here's the deal. You just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button and hit the notification bell, and you will get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it, it really works. Number one, box jellyfish. And here we have the most venomous creature in the world. It's a box jellyfish. They might not look venomous or dangerous at all, and thanks to SpongeBob, some of us might think all jellyfish are harmless, music-loving creatures. Wrong! These jellyfish pack a mean, mean punch. Box jellyfish are named so because of their box-like body shape. They have tentacles covered in biological booby traps known as nematocysts. These nematocysts are basically tiny darts loaded with venom. That does not sound fun in the least bit. People and animals that are unfortunate enough to be injected with this venom may experience paralysis, cardiac arrest, and even death, all within a few minutes of being stung. These jellyfish are even more dangerous because they're hard to see, so make sure to keep your eyes peeled. All right, that's the end of the video. Thank you for watching till the very end. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe so you don't miss any more amazing content.